So today we're gonna talk about the Easton Bull Truck Bull Case. It's a dual bull, you can have two bows. Um, it is 47 by 16 by nine inches in diameter. Um, it does have different handles for easier um, management. So one on, on the bottom, one in the middle so when you're putting in on the car truck or airplane makes it really easy it has a handle on the top so when you're rolling it plus one on the side the other thing is that the wheels are a lot bigger so it makes it much easier for rolling plus you don't have to put it like a certain angle for it to roll easier okay because they're bigger it, whatever angle you're putting in it makes it pretty easy to, to roll around mm. This part right here connection is so if you have another suitcase especially a rolling case uh, You can connect it to that so you just you know roll one case and they're both um, Connected to each other It is me with some Kudura ballistic fabric, really tough material, so very durable. So they, um, this case should last you a long, long time, or will last you a long time. Um, they did put some like the special new zipper. So it, oh sorry. So if something goes wrong, it doesn't break down as a regular zipper. Cool. Okay, so we will talk about, you know, the bags inside, how to put on, well, how the bows fit on it, especially the 40, the Citation 40, they tend to be pretty big. So even if it's a 40, it tends to be a little bit bigger than your other 40s. So if that bow fits on this thing, then you should whatever bow you have, have no problem but one tricky one is these guys the aero cases uh, I got the 36 and the 32 so when it comes to carrying two bows I will take the 36 because I would take two different types of arrows and when I do carry one bow only this one but if you do put the 36 space for your stabilizers there's no more so we'll go through there okay so it does have a pocket here sorry you guys makes pretty huh bam uh, these two right here are the ones from the inside but if you forgot something and you needed to grab it without opening the whole case you can do this so easy grabbing right here bam bam oh the other thing is everything that you see on the floor that's what i put on this case well except the cases it, it's gonna be one or the other so we're gonna open this thing So it's a dual for a dual bone and this thing kind of separates it. And plus the cool thing about this one is it connects here. So that way if you are just taking one bone, you can do this. Or even if you're just taking one bone, just put it inside of it. So it doesn't scratch on you. Well, if you don't have like a like a bow sleeve or like a bow cover then you can use this as a cover to protect the bow if not then you know you get your bow covered put the bow put this guy on put another bow another, another cover put it on top and then use this to close it down this pocket is for your Arrow cases and even arrow torch, the round one from Mason or either 
brand then you got your two pockets right here these are the ones that you can open from the from the front and this one right here it will be for your site especially a box like that okay so i'm gonna put a pass on it i'm gonna put this phone on, on my tripod so then i can start putting everything else without using two well one hand makes it pretty hard okay let's get started this is how i put two bows on it and plus my other stuff um yep let's do this then. okay so first we'll do the stabilizers because if i use two bows i'm gonna use the 36 inch arrow case from easton um to go in the pocket but then because of that there will be no space for the stabilizers especially the long one so what i'll do first i'll put them in my sleeves then put them under under the belt here and then the other one is gonna go on the side just like this Next, I will place my TSC Citation 40. But you notice that I didn't put it in the middle. I put it more on the side. Keep these guys a little tight. <clears throat> Cover it. And you notice that these guys have holes right here so then you can pull your belt crew belt here like that and the other one if you were just taking one bow you can put the first bow in the middle cover it boom you're done but i'm not so we're not done yet then we're gonna put our pse perform x 3d and this one see how kind of like i organize it a bit so it's much flatter so this the citation riser is more right here and then at least a giant free space on the other side so that's where i put the riser here so then when i put the belt it's long enough to cover it and I'm not using the bow sleeves, so that way you see how it looks. But if you put the bow sleeves to cover and protect your bows, that'll be good. Okay, so now we're gonna move it. And we're gonna use this one right now. So, open it. So if you are using the small arrow case, no problem, you put it on. And then on the side right here, you'll put all the stabilizers, but we're not using this one. We're using this one. If you try to put it first down here like this, it's impossible to put it in. So what you have to do is first put it in this way and then drop it down. And boom, see? And then you close it. For your sight, I tend to carry two because one for each bell. So oh. close, close. So we're gonna open this bag right here. stands put it on the small pockets right here Ooh, there you go. Down right there. maybe my 
binoculars. But then for the small stabilizers, because these are small enough, we can put them on these pockets. And then maybe put on um, a few extra stuff of um, extra accessories if I need to. I can put them right there in this bag and close it. That will be everything on the inside. Now we're going to close it. Zippers. Uh, And then the top bag. So see, look. If just in case you forgot something, then you can use these to get in there without opening the whole case. Especially if, you know, there's too many cases on the floor or you are minimized on space. Closer. And there you go. That's how I put them. two balls on this case. And yeah, until next time.